Only pitched for the Orioles one year, and it was the Orioles' first year in 1954. This is more than just a regular Orioles jersey. It's a sign of Bill Shaw's devotion to the team over the years. I've grown up an Orioles fan the whole time, and, and this does kind of represent my fandom. Because the jersey kind of represents players from the 50s, the 60s, the 70s, all the way all the way through to current. Shaw first got this O's jersey from a local baseball store in 1992. It came signed by 1983 World Series MVP Rick Dempsey. Since then, Shaw has lugged the jersey to card shows and autograph signings across the country, to spring training in Florida, and up to any player he sees in public, all to accomplish one mission. I basically lugged it all over the place um, to, to get as many former uh, Orioles on it, and there are currently 281 players on the jersey. Players from the first team in 1954 to stars like Bill Ripken and Cal Ripken Jr. Shaw keeps track of each and every signature using this spreadsheet. Earl Weaver is the second row above the S. So if we go to the S and we go two rows up, there's Earl Weaver. When Shaw is not collecting signatures, he carries the jersey around in this briefcase for protection. He's never worn the jersey and he never plans to because this is so much more than a jersey to Bill Shaw. It's a sign of his devotion to his team that will live on forever. It's never finished. Um, you know, when I'm no longer here, you know, my son will have this and I, I would like him to even continue it. Um, to me, it'll never be finished unless I decide to tell my son I want to be buried in it. So um, nah, to me, it's uh, as long as I'm here, I'll keep seeking out Orioles to, to sign this jersey. All of the signatures are on the front of the jersey. If you turn the jersey around, you can see the back is blank. Mr. Shaw says he hopes to get some current players to sign the back. At Camden Yards, I'm Brianna Ross, WBAL TV 11 News. <laughs>